Hey guys, Dr. Luigi here, back with some more Mutant Tutorials. And it's been a long while since I even made another Mutant Tutorial, but I've, I've been requested so much to continue the Mutant Tutorials and just restart that that playlist of it. Because the rest of my tutorials back in the day, I have eight videos of it. It was pretty terrible, to be honest. And it was a bit off topic and so on. I said too much, it's too worded and everything. I, 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 I could just I could just do this so so let me go ahead and tell you what you guys are going to need to actually make an AI for your character everybody wants me to tell them how to make AI and everything so why not I, I guess so why not it, it's been requested so much so enough with the introduction okay first of all first of all if you want to start your character off you might want to get some, like, find some other characters that have, like, helpers and such. But I'm going to tell you, like, this episode, how to make a very simple AI. It won't be as good as you think it is doing so, doing the things I'm telling you. But it will be good enough, because then I'm going to make more videos and series of videos how to make some very, very good AIs and such. Just like uh, Magicka, because, man, I did a very good job of Magicka. It was the best AI I've ever done, and he's pretty destructive. So, yeah, this episode, I'm going to tell you how to make a AI just from scratch. So, let me go ahead and tell you. First of all, if you're ever going to start on a character, on an AI character, or just start on a character completely, first of all, you'll want to get this Mugen version. Now, there's two things, there's two ways you can pretty much do this. With the Mugen version, you can either have a certain date where you made the Mugen, the Mugen um, character, or just an older date for the version of it, or you can put 1.0. With the 1.0, with the 1.0, is this character is mainly supposed to be for 1.0. It still works for 1.1. Trust me, I tested it, and it's it still works, but It'll have different types of uh, usage for it. With um, with the dates, you're gonna have to use a variable for your AI. And with the Mugen version, you can put AI levels such as hard level eight or easy level one. You know, you can change that setting in the in the settings of Mugen. But with me, I, it don't matter. The character will be as hardcore as possible because it doesn't matter to me. First of all, you're gonna want that. Either one, put a certain date for the version, or 1.0. Now, to be honest, i rather put a date for the Mugen version than 1.0, just to be more legitimate and just, you know, just more legitimate. Because on 1.0, some stuff you, you may put in may not work, period. I know that from some characters. So, yeah. Also, Arthur. Also put the original was Jin character. The um, Arthur who made this in the first place. So yeah, I just put him on the side. Since he made this character, not me. I just AI passed it in, edited it. So yeah, keep him in there and all the stuff in there. So okay. Now my ways of making an AI patch is pretty much probably one of the best ways you can do this, but it'll take some time. Usually with me for AI, so it usually takes me at least two to four days for AI. Depends on school days and such. And it usually doesn't take me that long, to be honest. If I just sit there for hours and work on it, because I do sit here for hours and working on AI. But Ash, this new character from uh, the King of Fighter series, I'm actually going to use this character as my uh tutorial character and i'm still going to be making it as a character as itself so yeah let's go ahead and get to it so the first thing you easily want to do you can do like three ways how to start this now you see these things right here let me go ahead and try and draw these things right here the, the st0 which is uh, state 0 state 1 state 2 state 3 those are actually used for like extra stuff the C on D and the SC the C and S Wow um, those are they are those are needed those are needed for everything you pretty much do because if you don't have these then the character is not gonna work period trust me I had that problem before so this is like for extra stuff 
just for extra states or to separate them all so you won't get lost or anything but yeah now with me what I do is actually add a extra state to it. you can start off at whatever number you want but mostly you want to start at one you can start at zero because it still works that way but I usually just start on one just because and then this one can be AI.CNS now this is my way of doing it but it's hard to it's hard to just say it instead of do it because this is not what I did with Magicka either I just put it in with the extra files it had but I'll, I'll, I'll tell you that on a different video the I'm gonna tell you this video the normal way of making the AI settings now first of all first of all I'm going to show you how the AI reacts because what I've done is go through all of its moves and give it this let me let me try this again and give it this right here trigger all variable 59 less than or equal to zero that right there lets you know that only the the person playing this character is able to do this move and whatever commands is going to be into it so if it's if it's above if it was greater than zero then that means it'll be ai and usually on characters variable 59 is usually the ai variable you can make it whatever number you want but it's mainly mainly 59 you can you can use whatever you want but mainly 59 just to be honest and I always use 59 except on one of my characters just because just because so if you want your character to actually like stop using moves just randomly because I've noticed a little glitch with that before on characters back in the day that's why I update I'm updating so many characters right now I've, I've done this change so what I've done on all the regular commands and the command files and I just put trigger all equals variable 59 less than or equal to zero and I put on each move and the AI doesn't do the move randomly anymore so when I get all the coding set up for the AI to do these moves it'll only do this you can tell that with Magicka as he doesn't do any moves randomly he's just act perfect yeah let's say act perfect and that's again that's why I'm updating so many characters cuz I'm getting rid of that glitch cuz I didn't notice that before never noticed that I thought I had to make so many AI codings for it to not do that anymore but boy I was wrong I was wrong and now I know why so yeah so um, next if you want to really make an AI first of all you're going to need is first of all you're going to need this a AI switch most characters they always have a d default AI but you're going to need this just point blank and since my character and since this character is on the 1.0 I can actually use the AI level thing right here so on just regular Mugen versions you can use a variable you can use a variable to actually get the AI to actually be working and if you have the 1.0 thing switch you can use the AI level if you don't have it on 1.0 or 1.1 or whatever you have it then this will cause the game to actually crash and say it's an error because it's the Mugen version is too too new yeah let's say that it's too new I don't know how long Mugen was out until um yeah I just don't know how long it was out maybe one Mugen couldn't use this before either so maybe that was when it started and round state is when it's gonna start so one and two the match has just begun yeah you get it. you get it okay you get it so over here you see all these blue numbers these are actually commands but these commands are actually for the AI to only do as you know like I said that glitch messed up this is this is the reason why the game in yourself can actually do commands to do moves right you can do that you can do, throw a Hadouken just by doing down forward and then press one of the punch buttons and there you go you got a Hadouken 
So since computer, well, the game, the Mugen game, the AI itself can do these, these are the commands for the AI to do. They And plus, these commands are kind of impossible to do, as you can see. These commands are pretty impossible to do just by normal means. But they look so simple. Yeah, they're pretty impossible because of this time. This is actually for the AI to just rapidly click a button for it to work. And boom, they got, they got the move. But since it's 1.0, you shouldn't have this problem, just period. So, and that's what all this extra stuff down here is for. Like, I'll get to this later on a different video, but once you got the AI codings and the AI um, commands for this, you're going to have to make a, a whopping amount of these. Really, I just got, got it from a different character, and I just use them for each character I go on. So, because I don't want to make new ones unless I really want to. You can make them as impossible as you want. If you really want. But it wouldn't matter. Because it, it depends on the AI, you know. So, after you've done that, you can you can uh, skip all of this other stuff down here. Because that will be for later. And right here, this will be what the variable will turn into. You, of course, you can turn it to 1 all the way to whatever number you want, 100. But mainly, you want to stop at at least a good 12 or 13. So, whatever character you're trying to work on. Most characters, they have a little AI coding for the Kung Fu file. And with this, it changes how they, they act during the fight. So, let's say you want to put it at 5. That's like default. That's The character has AI and it's pretty good. It can use hypers like perfectly. Let's say 10, they have huge combo potential and they can pretty much defeat you. You're going to have to try your hardest. 11, 12, 13, or anything higher. Just, yeah, you're going to lose for sure. Because, because that's that's like pro level. There's no way you can win against them. And they'll have like incredible AI potential. And just, yeah, AI potential. I said that for a reason. Just, you... You can't beat them. I know that from Guilty Gear characters, if you ever had them. So, once you have this, this will actually activate the AI again. And you're going to need this to even start the AI in the first place. So, so yeah, I'll tell you that. And next, where you put your AI codings. This is what I do. First of all, I get all of the moves. I copy the whole thing, the whole moveset. The entire move set, and I just copy it into the state negative three. If your character does not have state negative three, then I suggest you add it right now. Adding a state negative three is self state files for for the character itself. It can be for AI. It can just be for just variables and such. Same. It's almost the exact same as number two, but it's but number two is more likely for sound effects and such. Like, let me show you. Negative two, negative three. That's that's this right here. This is just for normal stuff during during the fight. And I'll get to some of this stuff soon. I'll get to some of this stuff soon. Because it kind of makes no sense to you guys right now. So, there's AI Helper. And... Now, once I've done that, now I can copy and paste the whole thing in there, and it's now in there. So first of all, since I haven't done anything to the AI at all, and this coding right here is to make make sure only the AI can can cannot do this. The AI cannot do this. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how the character reacts like this right now, since I have done nothing to it, and I put this. Variable 59 less than zero. So I'm gonna pause the positive recording and show you. Okay. The will of fate is turning. Action. So, Kung Fu Man, stop moving. Stop it. Okay. Now I got control of Kung Fu Man. I have control of Ash right now. He still do attacks. And now when I pl press. The control button and the number one, it will start the AI. And I'm now going to press it now. And since I have that coding in the command files, 
the AI will not do any moves because I didn't put any moves for the AI. And since I didn't, I pretty much just got rid of the default AI. Yeah, he's normal now, so he can pretty much guard his attacks and everything. Because I hadn't started on an AI at all. This is basically how you want to start things off. So you can do this if you want. you you can pretty much do this if you want to, but for better for better understanding your character and see him see him do move sets and moves that you want him to do at the same time. Yeah, I recommend this because I found this out the other day while working on characters, and it really works. Seriously, I suggest you do it. But I'm going to be showing you guys this um this little process soon how to make the AI get um, some codings for it to do a move I'll do that on the next video because right now I have Skype right now and it's on and it's gonna be slowing down my computer I need more CPU for my computer yeah if I could do that I can make this video even longer but you know games so yeah that'll be it for this video see you guys next time